This is a short video to introduce you to using the MyMaths website. MyMaths is an excellent resource that covers all of the mathematics taught at secondary school. So first things first, the URL for MyMaths is www.mymaths.co.uk. So let's follow that and that will take you to this screen and you need to click the login button. Okay, now your maths teacher will have provided you with some login details. There will be a school username and password that's the same for everyone in your school and then you will have a personal my portal username and a personal password and the username will be a short number and the password will usually be three letters okay so I'm going to use some school details to log in here okay and that will take you uh, straight to the library screen now the my maths library uh, is divided up into the branches of number algebra shape and data and that enables you to easily find whatever you are currently working on in class or perhaps a topic that you need to revise ready for a test. Now over on the right here there is a panel asking for your portal username and password and that's where you put in your personal details so 756 and RJZ and that will take you directly to the My Homework page. Now this is where you'll see any homework that's been assigned to you by your teacher. Now the first thing you'll see here is that there are two buttons. There's one for a lesson and one for an online homework. Now the lesson, that's a on-screen tutorial to help you brush up on your understanding. And we'll take a look at the lesson for this topic of multiplying decimals in a second. But crucially, the online homework, that's what your teacher uh, needs you to complete so that they can see that you've finished your homework okay if you only work through the lesson and don't do the online homework your teacher will not be able to see that you've used my maths uh, and they will be uh, after you uh, to explain why you haven't done your homework okay let's take a look at the lesson for this topic so each lesson uh, looks like this you've got page numbers down the side here okay and on each page you get a bit of an explanation. Now my maths doesn't have any audio so you have to read the explanation and watch the animations and there's a next button at the bottom here that takes you through the explanation step by step. Okay great. Right and then uh, you can click on the next page and you get another explanation uh, and then Often in these lessons you find little pages of practice questions where you can practice what you've just seen to check you understand. Okay, so we'll put in a few answers here. Now, when you're working in the lesson, you can click the mark it button to see uh, whether the ones you've done so far are correct, and then it will tell you to keep going if you haven't finished all those questions. Okay. When you're working on the online homework, it's important that you don't click the market button until you're absolutely happy with your answers. Okay, but you can do so in the lesson. Okay, there's some more explanation here, some more practice questions. Okay, and then usually these tutorials finish with game, uh, games and activities to help you practice and really consolidate your understanding of the skill. So here, we've got to match up to 92 times 100. Uh, so that would be. Nine, oh sorry, 92 times 10, which would be 920. Okay, let's try uh, another one. So we've got 20.9. We could multiply that by uh, 100 this time. So that's going to be 2090. Okay, uh, we could try division. So 209 divided by 100. So that's going to be no, not 2.9. 2.09. There we go. Okay, and in fact, this uh, this tutorial has a second game as well, a beat the clock game. Right, now you'll notice that the lesson here is opened on a separate tab, so you can close that at this stage, um, but actually if we click back to the original MyMaths tab, we get straight back to My Homework, and we can take a look at the online homework that we've been set. So let's click on that. Okay, and then that's going to give you a set of questions. You, you get two question pages, okay, out of different numbers of marks, so let's, uh, let's complete some of these. Uh, let's see where we get to, 7.9. Okay. 
Okay, and then when you're happy with your answers there, you can click mark it, and then you move on to the second page. So this one's division. these few off okay yeah. okay kids okay now when you've finished all of the questions you get the option to close the homework and that's fine because it has saved all of the work there um, you also get an option to see your summary okay and that tells you how many marks you got for each question now when you look at your overall marks here, if you've got an overall score of higher than 80%, that's great. You can just click finish and close. If you've got an overall score of less than 80%, then you know there's a reason your teacher set you this homework. It's because they think you're capable of doing it. Okay, so you should go back and try again. Okay, so you can press the try again button here and that will take you right back to the beginning. You'll see that the numbers have changed. Um, and remember that you can always go back and look at the lesson okay we've got the lesson open here okay so we can go back and remind ourselves how things work if we need to okay so let's close that one okay now having completed the homework you'll see that it's disappeared from here and if you have a look under my feed it will tell you that the thing that you've done most recently one minute ago was that you, uh, you well we've got a score of 100 percent on the multiplying uh, decimals by 10 and a hundred Okay, so if that's all the homework you've been set, you could then log out of my maths and you're done. Okay, now one last thing is that you might uh, you might well be getting links to my maths in an MET report that's been sent to you by your maths teacher. Now on your MET report, obviously the green things are things that you have done well in assessments. The red things are things you need to work on. Okay, and usually these link through to my maths okay so if we click on this topic here converting between metric units now what you will find is because we logged out it wants us to log in again so you have to put in the school login here okay and then it will want you to put your personal login in okay and then you can complete the questions okay so converting between um, between grams and kilograms in this case metric conversions okay now if you've gone uh, if you've if you've got here by following a link um, you may not have the lesson uh, directly in front of you so if you're if you're not sure how to do it and you want to look at the lesson there's an easy way to get to the lesson if you go to the URL bar at the top and where it says homework if you change that to lesson okay and then click return Okay, so that will then take you to the lesson. Okay, and you can get back to the homework if you need to by changing the word lesson back to homework. Okay, great. Okay, so hopefully that was a useful introduction to using MyMaths. Uh, and uh, you'll be able to get a lot of good practice done and uh, get some great homework scores.